All right, for this next section, I'm going to show you guys how to do the TCA. So we're going to do this first on Landsat 7 because it's the most straightforward version. Then we're going to do a TCA on Landsat 8. So if we go to the toolbox and we type in T tassel, that's all you really need to type out is tassel, and it'll show up. Tassel with two S's. Now what you're going to do is use the resize values that you have created for Landsat 7 if you're using Landsat 7. So I'm going to choose the resize demo. I'm going to press OK. And it tells me right away that it understands that it's Landsat 7. Now when I click the down arrow, you can see that we do not have Landsat 8. So part of this is also is the fact that they haven't fully agreed upon the coefficients for Landsat 8. Uh, so that will come eventually, uh, that it will end up being in the software. But for now, just Landsat 7 is in there, and that's the newest one. So we press choose, we're going to type in here, we're going to have TCA, Landsat 7, which in your case you're going to have a date instead of Landsat 7, and then I'm going to press OK. And there's your Landsat, your TCA Landsat 7. So it looks very different than PCA, because each of them are different, so we expand that. We see wetness is showing as red, greenness is showing as green, Brightness is showing as blue. You might want to change it around to think, oh, you know, water should probably be blue. <laughs> so you can certainly change that up. This is just the way that it automatically loads. So now if I clear everything, I remove all layers, and I want to use my Landsat 8. So if I go down and I try to find my Landsat 8 here, so I've got this one, I load it on. Excuse me. And then I'm going to use the, if I try to go to the tassel cap, it's not going to work for me, right? So I know that I have, I use this one, press OK, but I don't have any Landsat 8, so it doesn't know what the coefficients are. So when I go to Google, I can Google it and I can find, and I just need to type in tassel cap transform Landsat 8 or tassel cap. Uh, coefficients or TCA coefficients Landsat 8 or LS8. So there, there's a lot of ways to look this up. I would suggest the Yale um, the Yale University numbers because it's all in NV format for you already. So these are the numbers. It shows that it starts with band 2 which is blue. There is no coastal aerosol that is used in the transform. So I suggest reading through the whole page before you're just jumping in and copying what I'm doing. But we're going to, I'm just going to show you what to do here to just for the software. So I'm going to highlight the brightness coefficient numbers and I'm going to copy them and I'm going to put them into my band map. So here's my band map. I can put that in there. So I just paste it and I hit add to list and it's going to show up at the top here. Then I can go back and I'm going to do the greenness. And I hit add to list so it shows up again at the top. And then I can do the wetness. So now I'm going to start with the brightness, so I'm going to select the first one that I put in. And then I know that it says B1 through B6. So I'm going to find my data that was resize, resize 2020. And I know B1 is blue because that's what it says on the web page. B2 is green. B3 is red. B4 is near infrared. B5 is shortwave. And B6 is shortwave 2. And then I can go here and I'm going to say this is my TCA October 2020 brightness because it's only going to give me one, um, one end result. And actually, that's in the wrong spot because it shouldn't be in there. It should be in here. Okay, so then I press, here's T, I can create another one. So here's that. I can press open and OK. It'll give me an error. I just press OK 
and it will let it go through. I just kind of force it, right? Then go back to band math. I've already saved these, so I can choose the next one, which is my greenness. And I press OK. And I do the same thing again. I'm going to find my, my October 2020. Normally I would clean this up and, not, and have it a lot more organized than, than what I have it right now. But it helps you because I know most of you would have this many in your data manager. So I may as well make it look like what you're used to. <laughs> so, so if I go here, I'm going to go to transformations. I have my brightness for 2020, which is right here. So I'm going to go TCA. This is going to be my greenness for 2020. Let's open and then OK. It'll give me that error again. Just ignore it. Let it do its math. The math is working fine. It is just that it's looking for metadata and it's not finding it. So we go to the, the top band here. I'm going to press OK. And then I do the same thing again. So blue, green, red, near infrared, short wave, short wave. Choose, lines go to transformation. And this is wetness, TCA and wetness. And 2020. So open and OK. So now I have all three of these. I have the wetness, greenness, and brightness. Of course, I changed up the way that I was naming it, which is not a good habit to do. But Really, in the end, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to put them together into one database because they belong together. So I'm going to go to my toolbox and I'm going to type in layer. Now, there is this build layer stack. This is going to create a database for me and it's going to save all of my layers together into one database. So if I click on that, it's going to say input rasters. So now I can choose my three TCA values. So I've got brightness, greenness, and wetness. And then I press OK. And I'm going to make sure they're in the same order that they should be, right? So brightness is usually the first one, greenness is the second, and wetness is the third. And all I'm doing with this one is I'm just dragging and dropping it. So I highlight it and drag and drop it. Please ignore all of this information in here for the coordinate system. It already is projected. You do not need to project it again. So that it'll give you an error if you touch anything in here. So don't touch anything in the grid definition because it's already projected. So then uh, this one, I am now going to save it. And uh, I'm going to use the same format that I've done with previous years. So I'm going to say TCA stack. And I'm going to call this one my 2020 because now I've stacked it all together. And then I press OK. And it will stack them together. So see how it just automatically went to um, a color image? Because now it is a stack. So if I go to my data manager, I can actually get rid of these individual ones that are here. Like that. Okay. And close those. So there's my TCA. That is how that one works. Um, and that's for Landsat 8 and Landsat 7. So next I'll show Data Fusion in the next video and Fourier Transform in the next video.